Well, hey everybody, and welcome back. It is time for more Warhammer 40k Spice Marie. Spice here on uh, Sequential Saturday on Rage Select. I am Jeff. I'm Blake. Uh, Blake, we are in the sewers below the Manufactorum, trying to get out, and uh, I have become completely lost. Now, uh, when you say manufactorum, how many factorials of menus is that? It's so many. It's so There's many. So many, factors. so many factors. Um, this is Warhammer like 40 squared at this point. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, what the hell, you guys? Is it here? Their is it crocodile this? is uh, Killer Crocs going to come out and get you. I never, I, I always hate levels like this. I hate the, 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 uh, the oh, sewer we want level. You, this is the uh, equivalent of the water level in Zelda, where it's like, I don't know. All this stuff looks the same. Okay, I don't know where go. I'm going. Here okay. we go. I feel like, I'm, I feel like this has got to be the direction. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's probably Whoa, it. Oh, yeah. Shit's just blowing up. Oh, shit. Here come the orcs. You know, it's grenades. It's funny, Jeff. I was on the internet recently. Yeah. And uh, I don't usually go there. Just uh -huh. And so uh, somebody on Reddit was saying, like, hey, what are games that are most like Rambo? Uh, Wait, like Rambo or like uh, uh, First Blood? Uh huh. And so many people were like, um, well, you know, the Rambo game itself kind of sucks it's on NES or uh -huh. whatever. But Wait, people were saying, people were saying this game. Like Rambo? Yeah, like like a one man show against all what odds type fuck? shit. What is it? It's stun execute is B. Okay, all right. All you right. got to hit that B to execute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, uh, uh, but mm -hmm. I thought it was interesting, right? Rambo Warhammer 40k. Like I I just it's funny when you don't hear of. I've never heard of this game, uh -huh. right? Until we started talking about it and started playing it, and then yep. I'm seeing it all over the internet, probably because the sequel is coming out soon. Right? Yeah. But there's yeah. a lot of love for this game. Yeah. It was uh, it was a, it was a well beloved game in its time, and uh, um, that was one of the reasons that I kind of wanted to talk about it. Was like so many of the there's a lot of games out there that I feel like oh shit who's this fucking who's this big, oh. who's this big bammer jammer fucking getting my getting my getting my way oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god, oh god. gotta run <laughs> do I have something that's a different oh shit uh, can I get like a no, oh. no. Fuck you, orc. With Sorry, y'all. It's been like uh, it's been a few weeks since we did the first part, so I, all my mojo's gone. I gotta I gotta get my mojo back. Yeah, no. Uh, Warhammer 40k is like one of those weird franchises where like it's actually really popular. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people really really like it, and but it's still not really mainstream. Like to me, it's a lot of like it's kind of like back in the day before all the MCU stuff uh, like came out. And, like, you had people that were big comic book fans or, like, anime right now, right, where there's, like, mm -hmm. some crossover appeal, but a lot of, like, just regular schmegular people out there, they don't know shit about Warhammer 40K. Right, they have no idea what the lore is. They yeah. just know that it's some sort of board game, right, or something like that. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I don't even know what the lore is, to be honest. Like, like last week I was talking about uh, the... The, the whole like orcs grow out of the ground thing and somebody in the comments actually said like that's what it actually is and I was like oh shit uh, well yeah in the comments also too they said that oh, the orc with the K actually might have been a way to get out of the whole like getting sued board oh yeah uh -huh. so I, thought, I was like oh that's interesting like oh my god I like no no health at that point you got lucky there uh, alright you already hit that big mamma jamma Did I, think he's, coming. I think he's coming I'm, gonna sa I'm saving up my little omega thing for the giant dudes Wait, we can get this thing, the Vengeance Launcher, right? You're going to launch Vengeance now. Those things got to explode, I guess. <laughs> you get to hit the button to make them explode. There you go. Walk it up, boys. Looks like orcs are back on the menu, boys. Yep. Uh, oh, oh, shit. shit. Oh, boy. Oh, Omega boy. time. Uh, is that him? Okay, yeah, that's him. Attack A. Oh shit, he got me! Oh! But I'm still getting I'm still in it! I'm still in it! Oh! Rawr, you fucker! Ah! Oh, Did I get him? Oh, oh, yeah, splitting get headache. That back. Oh! Get that back. All right. That was pretty cool. Um, the one thing that's kind of weird, though, is even when it comes to Warhammer 40k, like. They they did like a lot of the stuff is focused on the space marines, mm. but like there's a bunch of other no there's a weirdos, ton of other yeah. like you know there's other factions right and I think with the Warhammer uh, tabletop yeah you actually choose your faction mm -hmm. that you want to start building, and uh, there are factions that are easier than others because there's a uh, lots oh, of painting. Shit. 
A lot of painting. Oh, shit. Um, and at this guys. point, I think if I were ever getting a Warhammer, I would probably just pay somebody extra to just paint the shit. Yeah. Because that's just so much tedious time. You I don't think know if so? I, I, I'm not, I got big bear paws for hands. I cannot sit there and meticulously paint things. Yeah, you can. Well, I you got see the, the right thing. You need the right, you need the right implements. You know, I oh, got shit. some Gundam models. I got okay at that. But uh -huh. I even think with that, it just became like... I don't know. I just want to play with it. You know, it's like I don't know. Just somebody just give me the build. Yeah, I don't know. It kind of depends on like what you're, um, like what you're, what you're looking for, right? Yeah. So in some cases, it's like uh, the the whole joy of the thing is like in the building, right? Yes. It's not necessarily in using the, the thing afterwards. Yeah. But I think with Warhammer, it, it is because you're building the things in order to play. But then it's like you gotta build terrain and like you gotta build terrain. You gotta find other people that are willing to play with you yeah. and have their own built thing. And you gotta on make top sure that, they're not gonna kill, follow you home, and murder you in your sleep or anything. You gotta like, bring tape measures and yeah. rulers, right? Oh shit! You gotta you gotta measure that shit. What is it now? What do we get? The stalker bolter for the melta gun. Oh okay, sure. Oh, that's like the Vulcan assault pattern melta gun fires a scorching plume of. Is that is that just flamethrower? Scorching just... plume of molecular molecularly agitated heat. Say that fifteen times fast. I'm pretty Holy sure most shit. most heat is molecularly agitated. Isn't that what heat is? Is like po like particles that are moving around real fast and shit. I, I, All right, guys, let's find the, out. It's it's past noon and we're using a lot of complicated terms. Oh, okay, so it's like a. It's like a, it's like a shotgun oh, flamethrower. It kind of reminds me, of, yeah. It r reminds me a little bit of like the pyro in TF2. Yeah. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. It does go through ammo pretty quick though, because I'm almost out. Like, let's try this plasma. Yeah. Wow. Really, I kind of miss my old gun, but that's all right. We'll make do. That's right, you orkies. Oof! 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 So with the new game, have uh -huh. you seen much about it? Have you? I mean, obviously, I'm sure you've seen enough trailers, but, like, what is the what is new that's coming that's going to be awesome? The uh, Okay, so the big thing with the new game is that you're fighting Tyranids instead of orcs. That's right, that's right. We uh, talked about that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, wait. I still have my bolter. Oh, I just switched out the sh the uh, sniper rifle. So okay, so I still have the regular one. So yeah, the tier the the Tyranids are like Zerg basically. Mm -hmm. There's like huge swarms of them. They're kind of like buggy alien reptile guys, um, and so it's more of that like here's a horde that's so giant that there's no way anybody could survive. Now survive, uh, kind of stuff. Um, but also the multiplayer has a bunch of chaos in it, which I'm sure will love people will love yeah people like chaos a lot i don't know chaos reigns they say i don't, I don't i'm not a big fan of chaos so in it war, chaos and warhammer is just like ooh, do you want power do you want to fuck it's all just black philip but like with like <laughs> cthulhu's right do you want to fuck right like slanesh is just like are you horny you're like well i, no, I mean no, i don't I know mean... i like boobs and it's like aha you're chaos now you're all warped and twisted you've been destroyed by the warp fuck you and it's like oh, God damn oh it. man okay i'll play space marine too i just wanted to have sex uh or like do you want power okay now you're a monster it's like, well, I it's mean, like that stupid uh, 90s movie Bedazzled, but just like with fantasy and lore. Bedazzled? You ever Bedazzled with fucking Brendan Fraser and. Uh, was that called Bedazzled? It was. No. Be I thought it was something else. I thought it was a bitch. Uh, God, the, is it. Because Bedazzled's what you do to a G jacket. Oh, fuck. Right? Hang on, like, I'm looking this uh, up. Be, be charm. Bewitched? No, it's not Bewitched. It is uh, Bedazzled. It is bedazzled. It is bedazzled. Oh. So uh, it is uh, with Brendan Fraser and Elizabeth Hurley. Elizabeth Hurley. God, she was so hot She was in that hot movie. in that fucking movie. Um, Where she's like, oh, I want to be a very important person. Yes, have a lot of power. I want to be president of the United States. Okay, you're Abraham Lincoln the right. night that we got shot. Right. Damn it. Damn yeah, it. It's, it's, chaos is, a, is, well, it's sort of a monkey's paw, except for the fact that it's just like, uh, you don't learn a lesson or anything. You just turn into a Cthulhu monster horns, and and then you like it. Apparently, apparently the people that get turned into chaos, they like it, so they just keep. So it's fine doing it. Like I don't know. I I don't dig with chaos. I'm more about uh, ooh purity seal. Superior I'm more about purity, purity seals. I'm more about purity. I'm more about seals. promise rings and purity That's seals. That's right. Fury mode now drains fury significantly more slowly. Ooh, use this advantage to destroy the enemies of man. Now you see, Blake. If I was running the Space Marines, I would have given them all of these things before I threw them out of the side of a spaceship. 
uh, instead of having them to have to find all these little churches on mm-hmm. the ground, I would have like just given him the superiority. They, you mean seal. you would have just like jumped to the end of the chapters and just said, "Here's the, all the fucking upgrade I would have shit." Sa- said, "Here, here's a giant, giant machine gun." Instead of, "Here's a pistol, and you'll find a machine gun later." Uh, is that exploding barrels? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's banking on a lot of different uh, variables there to get you a church in the middle of a fucking. It's also like in the sewers, right? Yeah. Like it's not even. Like, how did that even get down yeah, here? Yeah, like, this seems like it's all a ruse. Like, I feel like they pre-planned this. They pre-planned uh, oh, your shit. doom. Ah, fuck. Oh, no. It's a bloody guy. Uh, okay. Let's try this thing. Got it. Scaplanzo. Screw that guy. Yeah. Kill him. Mm-hmm. Yes. Green death nice. everywhere. Nice. Nice. Mm-hmm. It does take quite a while to uh, um, run out. Takes I think it's longer. It's, it's extra creepy oh, when shit. you can see and go really close up to his face, the space marine. Uh-huh. He has no emotion on his face whatsoever. Well, sure. All of this is happening. He's, it's he's hilarious. Just, he's uh, he's, uh, um, he's not he's enjoying like, himself. He's this just is doing a it for the emperor. This is a Tuesday. Yeah. Give me that. Give me your Give me your health. You too. I want both of them. You. Ooh. Oh, shit. Yeah, this might be the bloodiest game I've played since um, Sniper Elite. Sniper Elite is probably the single bloodiest game I've ever played. I actually have never uh, really played through those games, and I really kick myself for not, because I think it would be right up my alley. Uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes they can get a little... They're pretty good in short doses, but I think they can kind of get a little, like, repetitive if you play... God damn it, you fucking orcos. I hate you so much. Come here. Come here. Can you go orcos somewhere else? Er, go hang out with Snarf in the shit sidekick arena. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ah. Come here. Come here. Yeah, come here. Arr. I don't know if you know this about me, but I do hate Orko and Snarf and all of the uh, all of know. the Saturday afternoon. Uh, you know that little bug on Rescue Rangers? Not a big fan of him either. Like any of the uh, the mute uh, slash like cute talking uh, sidekicks from Saturday morning cartoons. And uh, let me guess, you don't like Pikachu. I, I never, I didn't really, I'm not, I was in a, I was a little old for Pokemon. Why don't you like fun, Jeff? I, you don't I like fun. Sonic the Hedgehog. That's right. You just want to fucking Oh, kill. you know what? You know what's another one? Slimer from the real Ghostbusters. I didn't give a shit about Slimer. And then they turned that show into Slimer and the real Ghostbusters. And I was like, oh, come on. He was the worst part. He's just like, I'm not, I can't say that I'm, I'm upset. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> about what? <laughs> but you're not liking Slimer. All the fun things in life. These are critters. These are like what we grew up with on Saturday morning cartoons they're supposed to be our friends jeff i'm like eight years older than you okay? i know but i'm going to put myself but i actually you know brian my brother is older than i am and yep. so i actually just did what he did and even though that meant like watching reruns or whatever so i know of those things mm-hmm. i know of those things pretty sure i'm also older than brian but that's true uh I'm, I'm I'm like real pure Gen X. I'm just like yeah, whatever, man. Whatever. When you try to fucking come at me with this, like, ooh, look how cute Slimer is. What's you the know, first? He's like a a real like he's like a death ghost, right? Like he's not a dead person. He's like a malevolent entity. Well, I would think that all ghosts are dead. Right, but he's not like a he's not like the spirit of a person. <laughs> he's the spirit. He's like of a malevolent death. entity. He's like yeah. a poltergeist. Uh, like he wasn't in that he wasn't in that uh, that hotel just like having a good time like being a, a playful scamp. He was like running at Bill Murray just like. Rawr, rawr, rawr. This so man they, has no dick. And then they made him into his little just like. What's the first cartoon you remember watching like growing up? Uh, the oldest cartoon I can remember watching is um, like the 1970s. Spider Man, okay, like the okay. you know the, the boy, the meme, the meme, Spider Man, yeah, that one, like yeah. the one from the memes, uh, when they when they only put the web on his head, yeah, they put it on his body. No, no, it wasn't that one. It was there was a uh, there was a, a Spider Man and Friends show, and it was like Spider Man, Iceman, and Firestar, and that was like the lineup for the show. It was different than that one. That one's a little older. But that's the oldest cartoon I remember watching. It's weird to me uh, how, like, I'm thinking, like, well, how big was Spider-Man in the 70s? Because you have to equate it to the giant fucking mecha franchise it is now. You know what right. I mean? Like, in all these comic book stuff. So back then, was it more niche? Uh, I mean, Spider-Man... Uh, 
See, I think that Spider-Man was was so ubi- it was like Superman, like it was so ubiquitous that it just works for every uh, for every generation. Like, I got you. Yeah. Uh, there's some concepts that just kind of work for everybody. You don't have to be like a specific age or whatever. Uh, like you know. Like Mickey Mouse for kids, right? Like right. that goes through any of the age. Looney Tunes. Like like Mickey Mouse works better for children, but Looney Tunes works better for everyone That's because true. it's like really solid. Like there's some good wordplay. It's got. I, I like my children's media with a little bit of like dark pepper on it. Like uh, <laughs> like I, I want some. I can jokes. see you like cracking the dark pepper over the cartoon show. <laughs> like like you, everybody talks about it, but do you know that um that joke from Animaniacs with Prince. Yes, finger with prints. Finger prints. I don't think so. And I don't think so. It's like, that is not a joke for children. No, that it's is not. That is not a joke not for children. Not even fucking close. Uh, that joke would not be for children. But, you know, later... And I would I would actually argue that a lot of Animaniacs, like there was the uh, the Minerva... All the Minerva Mink stuff in Animaniacs. I don't believe that was like... Look how sexy this character is. Was like really for children? <laughs> because... No, I, 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 I honestly feel like what they did was they... They knew that uh, adults would be watching as well, yeah. and they put in jokes for them while they'd watch with their kids. I really believe that. Yeah. But I think Animaniacs was more for a older audience in general as well. This is something that would be for like two or like toddlers. You know what I mean? Like I feel like that's more so towards a little bit of the older audience, right? So, but yeah, I, oh, oh, fucking finally, get out of these goddamn catacombs. It's one thing I hate, I hate almost as much as a swamp. It's a catacomb. It's swampies. <sighs> All right, get up, get up, get on up. We got orcs to kill. Prote- escape escape from the, the sewers! sewers. Yay! You've completed escaping. Sky over our heads again. Like a like a our dirt right gray. Just the whispers of the dead. Gr- oh, oh, rendezvous with the Inquisitor. Oh, right, that trustworthy individual who is definitely not up to something with his fucking fifth element haircut. Eighty-seven. Yep. I don't, I don't know if they're really like <laughs> hear the lamentations of the women um, what, what do they what do space marines eat besides blood and guts uh, you never see them stop for a sandwich it's got to be hidden in there somewhere it's probably their their suits are probably pumping nutrient paste directly into their veins or something I don't know uh, if I want to live in a future where you can't enjoy food Yeah, you know what I mean like I'm sure that that's eh this isn't, I mean, like, let's be honest. The Warhammer 40K future is not one that if you had no, a, we don't a aspire. menu, yeah. you would not choose to go there. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You would not aspire to go like, there. Like, I would almost rather live in the Terminator future because at least I know that John Connor wins the war at some point as opposed to this where it's just, you know, eternal warfare that never ends. Hear me out, though. Yeah. Sex with chaos? <laughs> Is that going to happen in the Terminator franchise? No. I think not. I think not. Oh, those... Wait, who are these guys? Those are... This is more drop pods. Millions more of them. Are they orcs? Our plan is unchanged. Get the Inquisitor and the power source off world. Oh, right. Because we got that little thingy, the little lantern now. We need to pull it out of that doohickey. We will have a damn the Manufactorum. We are ultramarines. I love how this game slipped into our podcast where you were oh no no no. it slipped into the story about having to go to your cafetorium yeah instead of the cafeteria oh okay so the laser cannon the uh, star is star days man portable laser cannon fires a charged enemy blast along a powerful laser can cut through almost any armor at exact range powerful optic scope okay sounds good Uh, so it's a laser sniper rifle basically a sniper oh you're gonna have to take it on that dude Who's this guy? Who's he? <laughs> He's got a nice little target so you know where he is at all times. What convention are you going to, my friend? On the high oh. Oh, that's what those guys are. Oops. Oh, two for one. Yep. Is there more of them? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There they are. Definitely more of them. Do I have to headshot these guys or does, like, anywhere on them work? Uh, Blammo. How about your buddy over here? Where is he? Scalamsies. And wow. Oh, Ratatouille. Yeah, okay, good. Like All right. Beaten by the invisible wall. Yep. Oh, there's still more of them. I wonder if you just push them back at that point and you don't actually kill them. What do you mean? With the like, laser? They seem to be coming back very quickly. I wonder if you actually 
Uh, there's just a lot of orcs. Oh, well. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. It kind of does seem like I'm not actually murdering them. Oh, there that he one's goes. dead. So three it's? I guess for the bigger one, maybe. Uh, maybe so. What? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, what's in here? Ooh, what's that? An audio log? Eh. Ooh, collectibles per level. It's a Drogon, huh? Where's our posters of 50 Cent? <laughs> I bet 50 Cent would probably be a good Space Marine. You know? Be like, bitch, where's my skull? Right? There's a lot of skulls. There's a lot of skulls in Space Marine. He's got a lot of options. He's got a lot skulls. of options. What's in here? Is this like cafeteria? Cafetorium? This is a cafetorium here. So this is like no. This is the bedroom. This is the. This is just the. Sli 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 what is this? Is that a sink? This is like a little. They're yeah, actually like they're pretty sink. cleanly, I guess. I don't know why the blood is everywhere. They probably clean that up, but. Well, I'm, I'm more worried about like the walls. Why is everything made of like rust? Like, kind of seems like we're in an old vault in the Fallout series. Yeah. Hmm. Yummy. Whoa. What's this? Oh, ammo. Delicious ammunition. Blammo. Uh. All right. Where are we going now? You're gonna meet up with the Inquisitor. It's only gonna take an hour and a half. All right. I don't know. What was your favorite cartoon when you were a kid? When you were uh, watching the watching the Saturday um, morning shows. I think what's interesting is that I had a lot of memories for like we had TV trays, right? Like where you would sit on the floor with your TV tray, and uh -huh. they would have, they'd be like sponsored. Yeah. So Biker Mice from Mars was one that I had. Uh, <laughs> VR Troopers. VR uh, Troopers. Legitimately, like, you know, you got your Power Rangers. You got your uh, your typical WB kid. Like, I, I was a little bit later, but yeah. I, I followed all the shows that Brian watched. But mm. um, I would probably say Power Rangers was the one that I got into probably the, at the earliest. Mm -hmm. And then just kind of filtered into watching, like, I remember watching um, the Banana Splits on, like, Nickelodeon, which is, like, from the 70s. Yeah. That's uh, a weird show. It's a very weird fucking it's a show. very weird show. Very Ooh. catchy uh, uh, show tune, though, at the very beginning. Oh, but yeah. very weird. Mm -hmm. um, and then also watched Rocky and Bullwinkle. Sure. Like, these, like what was great about me uh, growing up in that time frame, and I think for most people, is that they had... You know, on syndicated television, they had throwbacks that you could actually watch. It's not like the YouTube where you could just go Google whatever, you know what I mean? But yeah. it was like, hey, uh, if you're awake between the hours of like midnight and two, which sometimes I was later, you know, on the weekends, they would play all those old stuff. That yeah. would be what they would run. This is before Adult Swim, Toonami, all that shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go over there. Can we just go over there? You guys could just hang out on this side. I'm gonna go over there. You're like, cover me. Yeah, I don't. I don't like. I don't like this, like sniping bullshit. Um, oh, oh. Yeah. See, I think what was really interesting for my childhood was that uh, I really liked uh, my grandma. We didn't have cable when I was a kid. My grandma used to tape stuff because she had cable. Uh, so she used to tape stuff and then mail us the tapes. Oh, that's cool. So she would spend like a few months taping basically like a show that we would ask for or HBO movies or whatever and then just send us the grandma tapes. Uh, and the one thing that she had that I didn't, that we didn't have um, was cable. And so grandma would send me tapes full of Voltron. Oh, that's uh, cool. And so before there was ever Power Rangers, I was like, wow, Voltron. This is like a whole thing. But then... You know, it was all out of order, right? And yeah. there was no continuity, and you never found out what happened next, right? Oh, uh, that's kind of a bummer, but I understand how that could be also. Like, that's really cool that your grandma used to do that, because that probably was really fun for her, too. You know? I mean, grandma also sent us a VHS tape of Die Hard, and we pretty much wore that thing out. Like, back in the day when you only had, like, four tapes, or you only had, like, here's a new tape of something you haven't seen before. So, like, is Liar Liar the best movie in the world? No, but I'm going to watch it every fucking day because, like, I've already watched Who Framed Roger Rabbit 600 billion times. So... I, I always find that to be interesting, too. And maybe people in the chat, if you're interested in... The like, chat. What? The chat underneath <laughs> the video when this posts. Um, or I guess in the comments, it's not the chat. I'm thinking I'm on Twitch for whatever reason. Um, that's all right. That's all right. What... what 
what makes your feel good cartoon like I, I like the idea that you're just putting on things when you were younger just because it's like hey it's something in the background and right. I enjoy it yeah I used to do that all the time with Family Guy when I was sleeping mm -hmm. to the point where I like could hear the jokes in my sleep yeah and could probably those first three or four seasons I could probably go through an entire episode while watching it and just do all of the lines mm -hmm. you know what I mean but you so, a very limited amount of, of like entertainment options right yeah. well that was more so just because I just am lazy and was like oh Family Guy whatever but there are still those comforting shows that I could put on like the Batman animated series yeah I could put that on whenever and just pretend that I'm like five again and just like this is the most amazing thing ever no, like no, normally i don't normally i don't put stuff on when i go to sleep like usually i listen to oh oh okay uh I, I listen to music when i go to sleep but um there was a time period and i don't know what it was but uh the the second chronicles of riddick movie i would put that on and just it's like the, the like the one that's like you take what you kill or whatever yeah yeah yeah. Oh. yeah the, necro, the necromongers <laughs> why i love that movie i want so i, I love i that saw that movie, movie in the theater yeah. and i'm like i haven't thought about it since then yeah that's I, so no, funny. I love it carl urban judy dench oh like, my god the only thing that's really wrong with that movie is that they named shit real stupid like the necromongers that's a dumb name uh i can't wait to ask brian if he's ever going to cover that on junk food cinema and he'll be like no <laughs> i think i think him and i might actually have already done that oh really i, I think the two of us might have because i was like i legit legitimately think this is a good movie I, like i think that people get real weird about it and i don't know why because it's not like pitch black was like a fucking shakespearean masterpiece no but i think anything. that was like, that it felt more like a low oh shit i would say low budget i know it wasn't low budget but it seems much more of like a capsule in time of the story of an idea yeah and then chronicles of riddick feels like a summer blockbuster that just never really hit the mark however I like that movie as well, to be honest with you. Uh -huh. um, but I just find it funny that, like, you're holding true to, like, that movie's good. I'm like, I don't know if I'd say that, but it's, uh, it's... Look, it was I don't think it's as bad as, I don't think it's no. near as bad as what people say it Better is. Better or worse than Van Helsing? Because those movies kind of came around at the same time, and I remember, uh, like... See, I'm more of a sci-fi guy, so I'd much rather watch uh, Riddick than Van I would Helsing. agree Riddick uh, is better than Van Helsing. Uh... Van Helsing is, is cheesier. Everybody in Riddick, nobody's like winking at the camera. Everybody's like doing their, their thing. They're like making them, making their movie. Uh, Chronicle Ritters, Chronicles of Riddick. Chronicles of Riddick. Chronicles of Riddick had to crawl so uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy could walk. I think, I mean, like, the, I think this, the, 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 the weird story of it is actually kind of good. Like, I don't know. You've got this weird, like, like, the, the Necrons in this are not exactly the same, but like, you know, they're similar in, interstellar, like death, like, uh, like uh, death worshipers, like death cult, right? That is coming and they like, they, they, they take some people into their ranks and then they kill these planets because they're all about this weird, like death cult thing. And then you've got like the world, the universe's ultimate badass who just happens to be on this one planet and they're like, you must submit. He's like, I'm not from here. I want to leave. I ain't doing that shit. And then they drag him into it and then he fucking like whoops their entire civilization's ass. Like it's just, you know, it's no worse of a plot than like the Fast and the Furious movies. Uh, <laughs> and like, I don't understand why people, it's like legitimately gaslighting to me where people are like, that's stupid. And I'm like, do you, do, is it any stupider the movie, than anything else? Like The movie lacks horsepower is what you're saying. <laughs> that's in that regard. right. That's why they don't like it that's, as good as Fast right. and Furious. Like, what, what are you gonna what are you gonna tell me? That's not realistic. That the, the death worshiping uh, necromongers come to a planet and they like you know uh, they they convert the planet into basically they convert part of the population and the rest they kill. Like, what 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 exactly is the problem with that? Well, on Rage Select, did you guys ever play that Escape from whatever? Uh, the uh, Escape from uh, Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I think we might have played. There was a re. They like a remaster. They, well, they kind of fucked it up a little bit because that was fine. That game was fine. I heard that game was. was actually like really good. Yeah, like, no, it's it's a solid game. And then they put like a they re re kind of remastered it and then also put a like a a second part on it. Like they added to it. Uh, this it was called like the Dark Moon edition or something. And I don't think that was quite as like the original didn't need any anything else. Um, Damn, fuck. pile drive you. Yeah, kill him. Uh, 
God, dude. Damn. But yeah, there was a, uh, the, the thing is that, that the, the Riddick movie, it was like you had the game that was one of the most legitimately good like video game tie-in uh, games that has ever occurred. You had the movie, which I actually quite liked, and then you, there was an animated show called Dark Fury that had uh, character designs that were all done by Peter Chung, who was the guy who did uh, Eon Flux. He oh, was like shit. the designer behind Eon Flux. Now, he didn't animate it, but he did all the designs for it. Um, and it's about and those three movies. It's like um, uh, the game covers everything before Pitch Black, and then the anime covers everything interstitial between Pitch Black and Chronicles of Riddick. And when you put them all together, it's like I thought it was a legitimately good story. I don't know. I don't know. I got like real stuck on this topic of just like, you know what? I'm tired of all I this found slander. Something you like though. Of, of, of Chronicles of Riddick. If everybody's been telling me for years, like it's fucking terrible, and I'm like, I don't think it is, and I haven't heard a good reason as to why it's so terrible. Uh, I know that the time timeline doesn't match up, but I can just imagine you watching the Chronicles of Riddick movie on a v VCR like over and over and over. You're like this movie's great. Yeah, uh, I I don't know. I like it so. Maybe, maybe people in the comments will be able to to take that away from me, to tell me like no, why exactly shouldn't. it's wrong. And you know what? But poo poo on people that want to take away things that people like. I, I, I get it. We're not even not even that. I just I'm still waiting to hear like a good reason. Like we all watch Vin Diesel in the Chrono in the in the Fast and the Furious movies, right? So yes. like we know that Vin Diesel is not like fucking Anthony Hopkins, right? But we know that he could put a, a, a good performance out there. And I'm still waiting to hear who was like so bad that they ruined the movie in that was it judy dench was it carl urban was it uh what's her face from westworld the one lady that was carl urban squeeze like i i'm honestly now going to go back to our uh junk food cinema discord yeah. and just ask i'm gonna pull and they're all i'm gonna i'm curious to see why people will hate that movie yeah I'm like what do you have against it uh whew. chronic anyway. chronic chronicles of ridicule is what it's going to become that's right Ah, I can't even tell if I... Okay, that thing is slow as shit. Look for bullets. What in my hit scan? I am so low on health right now. All right, let's get up here. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, right in the middle of it's it? It's an really? ambush. You fucks. Okay, well, I need health. I need health. Can you just give me some fucking health? No, the guy behind you, dumbass. Yes. Captain fucking dumbass over here. Oh, that's not his name. Jo oh, you're making uh, a joke. Uh, what? Hit him. Oh. Why won't he? So what oh. happened there is that you stepped into a cutscene. Oh. And so it probably killed them automatically. <laughs> you sped run Warhammer 40k. Son of a bitch. Ugh. Actually, I'd love to see somebody speed run this game. I wonder if they'd break it. Sometimes uh, things like this is just a matter of like... How fast can you can you do the thing that they're asking you to do? Um, so sometimes well, I think it, 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 where's the cheap mechanic that you can just keep mashing? I think is the big. It, it, there might not be one for this game, which then just means that the speed runs are just like how good at this game yeah. can you be? Um, or it might not even have a, a a thing. I don't know. I think every game has been speed run at this point, which I think is great. I love the speed running communities. I think that, like, the idea that you'll take your favorite, like, you ever play Ocarina of Time and watch somebody speedrun that with a glitch run? Oh, my God, it's insane. Yeah. You could beat that game in 10 minutes speedrunning it. Um, I'm, it. I'm more interested, like, I like to a lot of times do Elden Ring, but I like to do Elden Ring. I've watched, like, Elden Ring and Dark Souls, but always no skips. I don't yeah. want skips. I don't want, like, geometry breaks. I want to see how good, how fast you could do it when you have to play it legitimately, but how good are you well, at I, it? I think it's so. very impressive when people can play that game with no hit mode. Like, oh, yeah, Not yeah. get hit once, and then do go. that through one, two, and three of Dark Souls. Yep. Or they can beat it with a fucking dance pad or some shit like that. Like, yep. it's insane. You people out there that are good at video games, put us all to shame. You should feel bad. Chronicles of Ridicule You. <laughs> I did. How are you still alive? With gusto. Power source conducts warp energies. Oh shit. Stuff of chaos. Heresy. My work against the Xenos has the Imperium's blessing. Oh boy. May your blessed work help us against the orcs. <coughs> My research is of the utmost secrecy. The Imperium forbids its use without sanction. 
Who would have thought this guy is... What the... F oh, that's like an orc dropship. <laughs> rock with a bunch giant of giant rocks. That, your imperial sanction. Very well. The hair, though, in this universe seems to be on point, though. Most hair gel doesn't really exist in... Past our universe, I would think. Yeah. It could destroy the orcs. Okay. Psychic scourge has never been test fired, Sergeant. Yet it malfunctions. Well, as good as the time as any. Start checking out these weapons. We fire the weapon and take our chances. All right. Sure. Roll the dice on a planet gets cracked in half. My research laboratory. Oh God, are you coming with us? Uh, is this going to be a fucking escort mission? Nah. Oh, maybe they got a tank. Valkyries. Oh, okay. Valkyries, sure. Let's find Little drop ships. Cool. Oh, we're back in the hallways. I've already been in this hallway. Wait, is this... Yep. Ooh, Somebody's bedroom. Room. Oh, this is much cleaner. Mm, yeah, a little bit. Good for him. Good for the dead guy. He cleaned his room. Yep. And, also uh, clean. Well, I think we're kind of past where the orcs were. Is, that, is there a reason to go into any of these? I'm, I'm going to start... Just looking instead of going all the 100%, way. hundred percent, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Exploration. I don't get the impression this is one of those games that it's like, ah, you're gonna want to play it again and again and again, over and over again on different difficulty modes. What? Is there a thingy in here? I heard the lady voice, but okay. So I wonder if there's a. I forgot if there's like a flying section in here. Oh, that would be rad. We're going to fly fly the dropship. This is back in that era when companies love to throw in, like, the driving, the the, the, the five-minute driving part. I mean, look at Blood on the Sand part. that we just played, right? Like, they did that shit all the time. And I think oh, what, yeah. that, what that game missed mm -hmm. was jetpacks. Like, legitimately having 50 Cent fly around in a jetpack at the last level would be fucking insane. Yeah. Who would be, if they were going to make a new 50 Cent... Or if they're going to make a game that was like 50 Cent Blood on the Sand, but like a game where rapper. you had like a rapper and they were they were like going out to shoot a bunch of people to get back their skulls or whatever. I think we've missed the boat with Little John. I think yeah. that would have been awesome. Yeah. Press A to say, yeah. yeah. Uh, so who would be who would be a good candidate at this point? I mean, Kanye before he lost his fucking mind, maybe. Um, I don't. <laughs> Post Malone. <laughs> post, oh, post these rage or something. Um, he's just gonna, he's gonna make him real sad to death. Uh, yeah, I don't know. See, the thing is, you kind of have to be like, Fifty Cent was always had that thing about being well built, right? You know what I mean? Like most, most rappers are, like, just okay. kind of a variety of builds. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Where I have to think about that. Where the fuck are they? Ah, oh, god damn it. Am I hitting? Did we have a Wu Tang Clan video game? Uh, yeah, there was like well, a fighting game. Maybe? There was a, I think, yeah, there was a fighting game. I think there were a few fighting games. No, wait, I'm thinking of Def Jam, Def Jam, Def Jam Icon. Those games are fun. I too. don't know. I really do think that like a like a a, a Warner Brothers produced like Wu Tang game that was like you know Mortal Kombat mechanics, but with rappers with with the Wu Tang Clan. But then the Wu Tang Clan is old now, right? Yeah. Like that's not a thing anymore. Well, that's anymore, what I'm thinking. So. Like, what if you legitimately put like. I mean, I don't know how you're going to get the rights to, to do it or get people to sign off on it, but, like, an actual, like, rapper's Mortal Kombat. Right. So if you really want to do Tupac versus Biggie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that would be fucking hilarious. But is there, is there like, I don't know anything about modern hip-hop. Like, is there, are there people, like, what's the Kendrick Lamar and Drake? Like, is oh that, a, so the is that a, a thing? That, that like, was a thing. A Mortal Kombat thing? That uh, was a thing, and Kendrick just destroyed Drake completely. Oh, there is okay. A, there, I, I, am, I would be very surprised if Drake is able to get back to his, uh, oh, his fandom as he had it, because holy shit, he got buried. Well, I, I saw that when that at the height of that that like somebody somebody uh, modded like uh, Kendrick Lamar and Drake into Mortal Kombat One as characters into the Mortal Kombat One engine um, and had them fight. But yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know anything about him Kendrick up, so is probably sure. the best the the best in the, the game right now I guess like, if I could say that I don't yeah know that's the right terminology but he is so influential and such a oh, great god damn it. The dude literally took a week to write a song that became synonymous probably more 
It's the greatest diss track <laughs> since the hit him up by Tupac and Big or uh, with Tupac shitting on Biggie. Yeah. What the fuck are these guys? I can't. Ah, oh, there we go. Is that it? Did you die? Are you dead? He's got another guy over here somewhere. Is he? Okay. Is that a guy? It was oh, a guy. Okay. Now that guy is evaporated. Woo! All right. Well, let's uh, let's check out this cutscene, and then we're going to wrap it up. Oh, no! Wrap it up? Is there going to be a Kendrick Lamar? Oh, I see what you did. Inquisitor, your wound is slowing us down. I can manage. Brothers, take him to the Valkyries. Oh, they're going to take they're gonna take him out. They're gonna be like, oh, you're slowing us down. <laughs> Shoot him! No, Drogo. The Orc Chieftain wanted the power source. When his Orcs see I possess it, not you, mm. you will follow me. That guy's I'm going, taking control. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> guy's really going full cyber Smeagol. Um, oh, shit. Oh, oh, are we back in it? Oh, shit. I guess we are. Uh, well, hey, everybody. Uh, we're going to wrap it up there. Like and subscribe. Let us know what you think down in the comments. And then, uh, yeah, maybe go to patreon.com forward slash okay. rage like. That guy literally flew up in the air about 100 feet. Yep. That's a great way to end this video for yep. sure. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash rage select helps out kick us some bucks get some bonus videos that nobody else gets to see come to the discord server and explain everything that I don't know about Warhammer or Chronicles I, of Riddick or Chronicles of Riddick I, I listen to the Warhammer stuff more because like it's one of those things where I don't care to actually go read the people just, be like, just go read the wiki and I'm like nah I don't want to I'd rather just have somebody yeah, tell, you tell me, me. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. I want the, the meme of the girl screaming in the guy's ear at the concert but just people being like the neck rods are actually a force of the orcs are spelled with K's to avoid trademark right. infringement oh um, shit okay also you can watch uh, bonus videos there oh the jump packs uh, that nobody else gets to see. Uh, Michael and I, if you if you were enjoying uh, Xbox 360 era violence, Michael and I are currently playing X Men Origins Wolverine because I got all the fucking um, like cro ooh the Thunder Hammer, the rarest of Space Marine weapons. All right, Thunder Hammer. Uh, anyway. Do all that, and uh, yeah, and we'll see you there. Blake, uh, once the people are done uh, hanging out with us over at the Rage Select Discord, where can they find you uh, on the internet? Well, you can find me at the uh, uh, Escape from, uh, you know what, I, I was going to make a joke, but I don't remember the fucking thing. You can find me over the Discord uh, at uh, patreon.com slash junkfoodcinema. Uh, we talk about movies. We talk about games. We are currently making our way through the Final <laughs> Destination series. Oh, there you go. Which is, uh, oh. it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, not so much great. Actually, they kind of hold up well. I don't know. Anyway, come on over. Hang out with us, too. Once you're done, uh, subscribe to Rage Select and combine both loves. Yeah, so. there you go. Uh, oh, shit. There we go. Bah! All right. Well, next week, we're going to we're gonna figure out more of, oh, the Thunder Hammer. Oh, the this Thunder is Hammer sick. is there. And we'll see you next week for more Warhammer 40K Space Marine.